asked you what type of person would likely be getting some cosmetic surgery, chances are you wouldn't be thinking middle-aged men. But as Arthur Chien shows us now, that's a booming nip and tuck demographic. Watch. I've always been incredibly vain. We do uh, not like correcting ball. incredibly yeah, talented writers ball. like Matthew Lombardo, but when he says vain, we think he actually means to say candid. The Broadway playwright sat down with us to talk about men having cosmetic surgery and when he decided to be one of them. When I was 40, I, I saw that my eyelids were getting a little droopy. You know how when men age, we get a little bit more extra skin here, and I wanted to take care of that. So I saw Dr. Schwartz, and uh, we did uppers and lowers. Dr. Robert Schwartz on the Upper East Side performed the procedure on Lombardo, removing fat around his eyes that typically builds up as we age. Cosmetic surgery was once considered an option for wealthier aging women, but that time has passed. Ten years ago, what percentage of your practice were male patients? What is it today? Um, it was maybe 5%, and now it's grown to 25% of my practice. And I'm proud to say that our, our men. Proud is the key word here. As a gender, men tend to be very secretive about having work done, more so than women. And this is where Lombardo's candor helps tell the story, going from before to after, making his eyes look more fresh. His appearance once again matched the vibrancy of his character. People knew right away. Um, I mean, after the scarring and the, and the bruising subsided, you can really see the difference. I didn't look so tired. I looked like I was more awake and more fresh. Experts like Dr. Schwartz tell us that about 10 years ago, most of his male patients were coming in when they were dragged in by their wives or they wanted to remain competitive in the workplace and were concerned about age discrimination. He said these days men are coming in because like going to the gym or getting a haircut, they want to look good. They want to look better. They want to feel better about themselves and uh, it's accepted. So people are just doing it. And the numbers prove it. Check out this separate example. Of the 70,000 breast reduction surgeries in the U.S. last year, more than 40% were for male patients. Times have changed. As for Lombardo, who's only had the eye surgery done with Dr. Shorts, his results lead to this simple advice for men on the fence. Do it immediately. Wow. Don't think about it. Just do it. And look good and be healthy and enjoy your life. And for that final line from this famous Broadway playwright, we find ourselves unqualified to edit. On the Upper East Side, Arthur Chien, Fox 5 News. Thank you very much, Arthur. Joining me right now is a top New York plastic surgeon, Dr. Derek Antill. Thanks for being here, doctor. Thank you, Ernie. You've been doing this a long time and successfully, uh, I know. Uh, what, what percentage of, of uh, male patients did you have, let's say, 10 years ago? Well, 10 years ago was about 10%. And now it's about 25% mm. and rising. Increasing. Yes, very much yeah. so. Yeah, a lot of men are coming in for procedures. Um, are, they, are they less secretive mm -hmm. about it, less un uncomfortable mm -hmm. about talking about this? Oh, I think that plastic surgery is very open as a topic today. Yeah. Uh, people are aware of various celebrities that have had it, CEOs. Mm -hmm. uh, I personally have had two presidents as patients. Really? Yes. So, I mean, there are a lot of reasons why, why men do this. Give mm -hmm. me some of the specifics, okay? Yeah. What, what, they what, just want to look better? I mean, is it, is it romantic? Is it business? What is it? Well, I think today people wear their resume on their face. Yeah. It's oh, yeah, that's good. very important in the job situation. People that are attractive, uh, they tend to be promoted quicker. They mm -hmm. tend to get jobs quicker. There's one study that showed that they tend to make about 4% more. Oh, it's youth-driven, no question about it. Everybody's mm -hmm. concerned about that. Are there risks involved? Because people worry about that, too. Absolutely, and I think that one of the most important things is to understand the risks, and you should talk to your surgeon and understand that up front. What you want to do is pick the smallest procedure with the least risk that will give you the biggest improvement. Mm -hmm. What kind of differences do you see in people who come back after they've had some surgery? What, mm -hmm. what change of personality? How do, they, how do they react? They're happier. Happier? They, people, they tend to have their chin up. They look yeah. you in the eye. <laughs> you know, they feel better about themselves. And I think we know that it buoys the spirit. Mm -hmm. It gives them confidence. But I think that people do judge the book by its cover today. You know, it's economy of thought. They look it's at the true. person and they make some decisions. And that's why it's so important in the job uh, venue and with social yeah. media today, we're all seeing pictures all the time. Yeah, what's the most important thing to think about if you're, you're going to be considering having some type of cosmetic surgery yeah. done? Which would you the think? The number about? one, two, and three thing is yeah. the surgeon that you pick. Yeah. It is the most important. You want somebody experienced, you want someone certified by the American Board of Plastic mm -hmm. Surgery. Well, that's very important, and you're one of them. Thank so you. we thank you very much. We've done a lot of great work. We appreciate you being here. Oh, thank you, Ernie. It's always Mantel. a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining Excellent. us, okay? My pleasure. Everybody should look good. Why not? Absolutely. <laughs>